Guess who's back with some info? Butter's back. Share this video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Butter the Great. And if you clicked on this video, you wanna know when your TRX is coming, don't you? There's only two things you gotta do for me to give you your build date. And if you can't do that, then you're, you're just forced with dealing with your dealer, which more likely is crappy, which is why you're probably watching this video, honestly. And if you've been paying attention the whole week, you'll know that every truck came out was black, Canada made more trucks than everybody, so we don't have much to discuss on that front. So sit back, kick your feet up, get out a notepad, enjoy the show, and enough of this fluff, let's get into the stuff. So like I say in every video, make sure you do what this little animation telling you to do, subscribe to the channel, join the Facebook group, join the Ram TRX forums, because we're your three best sources of information to stay up to date on the latest Ram TRX news. So like I said in the intro, we're gonna look at the numbers real quick. We're gonna look at two graphs real quick. This first one right here, you can see they average at least 50 trucks per day this entire week. Now you'll notice it is only four days of production. For some reason, Friday's numbers aren't showing up in the scans. I waited till like Saturday at 11 o'clock to film this because the numbers haven't shown up, but I know trucks were made on Friday, but hopefully the trucks that got made on Friday appear sometime before Tuesday. And then we're gonna look at this chart right here. And as you can see, Canada has way more trucks than everybody else as usual. But there was only one day this week that Canada did not have the most trucks built, but it didn't matter because they still made a couple more than Texas did this whole week. So, so as of this moment, there are 567 trucks who build sheets show up. So that means those trucks was able to make it down the line and get okayed. There's 379 trucks who got their window stickers. That means those trucks are released by the plant, ready to get shipped. So you do 567 minus 379, that's 188 TRXs that are sitting there at the plant going through various QA checks. And some of those 188 trucks, they're still stuck in QA since December. If you look at this list right here, boy, I'd be pissed. I hope my truck don't get stuck there. If you go look on one of these tabs in the tracker, you'll see which VINs they are in case you're wondering where your truck is at and if one of these trucks is yours. Subject change, now let's get into the thick of it. How in the world do you get from me your build date? Now, like I said, there's only two things you gotta do. All you gotta do is submit and just wait. That's it, nothing magical about it. Now, just an intermission before I get started, this is my love letter to you, Ram. Ram, please do not try to send some internal memo out to tell whoever is helping me to not give me these build dates. All thing I'm trying to do is help people figure out when the truck is going to come. This is a $90,000 vehicle that people had to have money set aside for to figure out when the crap this truck is going to come. Some people like me have no idea when our truck is going to come from tomorrow all the way up until your last day of production in July. That's a long time for some people like me to sit around with $90,000 in my pocket. Ram, I am making $0 by helping people out trying to figure out when the truck is going to come. I'm not asking nobody to pay me, send me gift cards, give me my cash app, submit a donation. Nothing. You won't find a single person to tell you otherwise. I'm not like the other dude in the other form who, who charge you a certain amount of dollars to get information about the bill. Even this YouTube channel is not even making any money because I don't even have enough subscribers and views to even get monetized. And by the time I did get monetized, it'd be like a year and all the information will be worthless anyway. I'm just trying to ease the pain that in one part you caused and the other part your dealers calls. There's a lot of crappy dealers out there. I was gonna say some, but based on the number of people who talk to me on a daily basis, there's a lot of crappy dealers out there who won't take five minutes out of the day to message somebody back for 24 hours. I'm not saying my dealer does that. I mean, how many trucks is one salesman selling in a month to not spend a couple minutes to give you an update once every few weeks? Are you looking at the system? No update. I'll check next week. I'm not gonna throw dealerships under the bus, but I will say some of them are crappy, some of them are great, but some of them are crappy, but it seems like a lot of the crappier ones get the most bills. So, and then the other hand, you guys caused part of this problem because for one thing, you got rid of the vehicle tracking system that you used to have and never replaced it in like, what, six years now? And then the second thing is, you sent that quarter one email to maybe a thousand people when you got like 5,000 VINs of people who have trucks. So you probably inform maybe 20% of people when the Facebook group has about 5,000 people in it. So a lot more people gonna be asking questions than people have answers for. Ram, it really does not make any sense how someone who has ordered the first week of August still to this day have yet to have any idea when the truck is gonna come. If someone ordered the first couple of days of August, that person obviously seen all the spy information about the Ram TRX. They've been waiting for years for it to come out 
They watched the live stream when the live stream came out. And they went the next couple of days to try to find a dealer that had an allocation. That is literally like your most loyal fan base. So for them, including me, not to have any idea when our build date is, and we're literally about five, six months into it, that's crazy. But people who have ordered 30 to 60 days after one of us has already got a truck built. And then there are still people who order week one that does not have a VIN number. That does not make any sense. So one of you spies of FCA that's gonna watch this video, I know at least one or two of you guys are, can y'all just turn a blind eye and let me help people out? Like I said, I'm not making any money off of this. I'm not releasing any secrets. I'm not asking people to give me money, get them information. I'm not releasing any confidential information. I'm not releasing any delayed information. I'm not doing none of that stuff. I'm trying to help people get an idea when the truck might come. But I will say, if you want somebody to be a brand ambassador for Ram, I would like to nominate myself because even though I've been bleeped over and not knowing my truck's gonna come and I ordered the second day in August, I've been mostly been talking positive, keeping positive. Can you just let us have this moment, have this little glimmer of hope, please? That's all I'm asking. And everybody else, if you wonder why I can't get any vans, you know exactly why after this video. So with that out of the way, let's get into how you get your build dates. Obviously by now, you know I'm not an employee of Ram or anyone affiliated with Ram. I'm just an IT consultant that works in various fields. With that said, that means if you give me your van, do not expect me to give it to you in five minutes. I have to send them off of Never Never Land and wait for them to come back. And you'll notice up here in the tracker in this green box, it says I expect new build dates to come in around 120. Now I don't know exactly how many is gonna come back. It just depends on, on the people that's doing it. It could be one to come back, it could be 30 to come back, it could be 100 to come back. I don't know until they come back. Just know if you're on this list, I am going to pull your build date and post it in this list. I'm gonna make this simple. If your name is not in this list, I am not gonna pull your build date. I'm not gonna search the YouTube page, I'm not gonna search the Facebook group, and I'm not gonna search the TRX forums for all these VIN numbers. Submit your information in this list. If it's in there, it's gonna get checked. And just to make it clear, if you do not have a VIN number, I cannot look up a build date if I don't have a VIN number. And number two, if you're in BG status from what I've seen, you do not have a build date scheduled. I can only help you when you're in C status, not BG status. BG status basically means that you have passed edit, but you are not gonna set up a schedule. So I can't give you a scheduled week because you're not even in the system to be scheduled in the first place. And for everyone else, if I give you a build date, that does not mean you are automatically in D1 status. You can ask plenty of people who got that quarter one email what status code they are, and I guarantee you most of them is not in D1 status, even though they got an email saying that they expect to build in quarter one. Your dealer is not gonna see you in D1 status until maybe a couple weeks before the actual ship date that the plant gives them. The ship date your dealer gives you is gonna be typically two to three days before your truck is gonna be actually built. The days I give you are not actual days your truck's gonna get built, but the actual week the truck's gonna get built. So for example, if I give you a 118 date, it does not mean your truck's gonna be made on 118. That means your truck's gonna get made either on 118 or five days afterwards, because it's five production days in a week. And every date that I give you is gonna be on a Monday. So do not try to contact me on 119 wondering why your truck isn't built, because like I said, your truck gonna get built within a five day period after the date I give you. So it's 118, 119, 120, 121, 122. And so on and so forth for whatever week I give you. And lastly, these dates are subject to change. Just like your dealer can call you and tell you that you got downgraded from D1 to D or your build date got pushed, the same thing happened with these dates. Once I sent these dates off, I had to wait for them to come back. So if it took me five days to get them, that was your status five days ago. So for example, if I sent that date off at 115, that was your status at 115. I'm not checking 118 if it got updated or not because I got other people's vans to check. Anything can happen after I got in that build date to push you back. Might be a line issue, might be a part shortage, might be a paint shortage. Someone farting the wrong way in the plant can change the date. So I will say wait a week before that date I give you to contact the dealer to see whether or not you're in D1 status then to see whether or not they give you an actual ship date. Because if I give you a 118 build week and your dealer tells you your build date is 122, so right around 120 you can expect your truck to be built. And then the week that I give you, remember your truck has five days to show up within that week. 
wait until the following week to send me a request if your truck does not pop up during that week. And just to recap, I cannot help you if you don't have a VIN number. I cannot help you if you're in B status. You have to be in at least C status in order for me to get you a date. The build date is not the day your truck's gonna get built, but the week your truck's gonna get built. You have a five day time span from that date for your truck to show up. And wait one week after that date to submit the form again and I'll get you another build date. And every time you fill the form out, I get a timestamp of when it was filled out. So if I give you a build week, do not fill this form back out again three days after that build week. Your event is not gonna be submitted until a week after that date that I initially gave you. And I have hundreds of more people to get build weeks for, so just be patient, just be understanding. I'm not trying to be a dick, I'm trying to be fair. So in the description, there's gonna be a link to the build tracker. All you do is read that first post. It tells you basically about the same stuff I already told you. And then boom, the first link gonna be to the form. Now you go look in the form, it's real simple and straightforward. Your username, your order date, your color, your status code. If you wanna leave me a note, yes or no, submit it, and that's it. Now I will say, just take your time and fill in this form out. It's not a rat race. I know dang what, nobody got a zero VIN number. So just take your time, fill it out. And that's it, just sit back and wait. And please just answer the question there as honest as possible. The more accurate you are, the more accurate I can make my projections when I do these videos. So now how do you view those build dates that I give you? All you gotta do is something simple. Just go to that same link in the description I gave you for the build tracker. Look directly at the top of the page. You're gonna see the TRX registry. Click on that link, it'll take you to the spreadsheet. Or it's the next link below the form link. All you gotta do is go click on that, you're gonna take it to the spreadsheet, and all you gotta do is look at the second tab called Build Dates. In that second tab, you can see all the VIN numbers that have been submitted. Like I said earlier, I am only gonna pull VIN numbers if you're on this list. And it's also sorted by VIN number, so it's easy for you to go in there, scroll down to where your VIN number is, look over to the right and you'll see what your build date is if you don't see anything listed it has not came back yet i'm still waiting on it and so the first 30 vins that i sent out like a week ago they were mainly form members because those really was the only vin numbers i really had access to and then the next batch is going out this week will be mainly august september vins so i'm trying to help people who had ordered the longest get their build dates first and then after that first come first serve if you ordered in january and you submitted before somebody in august did I'm gonna find your van out before I found a van, but I wanted to make sure literally like the first 50, 60 vans were mainly August, September orders because we have waited the longest and we have no idea when our trucks are coming. Some of us in D1, some of us might not get a bill till March. We don't know. And I'll go ahead and say, I have no idea how many vans I'm gonna get back at a time. I might get two at a time, I might get 30, I might get 50. I don't know until I actually get them. But I will put up in that green box when I expect to get VINs. So right now it says I expect to get VINs on Wednesday. And I'm going to say once again, no matter how many times you message me, how many times you fill this form out, I'm waiting on other people to give me this information. Once I go out to Never Never Land, it's out of my hands. It's up to the people that are helping me and it's up to Ram not to shut us down. So Ram, please do not shut us down. Can we have some hope? Or better yet, just make me your brand ambassador. We ain't got to deal with this. Tab on your spines, hit me up. And that's it for this video. There's only two things you got to do. Submit and wait. And that's it. Or if you want to skip over this nonsense, you can check out this last video that I posted that has in there how to skip the line. So you got options. So like I said, be patient. Fill the information out. Like this video. Comment. Subscribe. Share it to your mama, your daddy, your cousin, your friend, your twin. And until the next time, I'm out.